Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So today I am finally going to do a craft room tour. So here I am at the doorway here and just to the left of me, I just have a little hanger of decorations here. So it's just a little wooden rat embellishment. Well, not an embellishment, but a decoration. And then this is just what was sitting at my desk at the home in Manitoba. And then if you flip the door on the other side, I just have a shoe hanger there. And it just has some of my shoes, not all of them. And then just randomly a Christmas decoration on the door. And then I just have these things on the floor here. That door just leads into the laundry room. It's forever going to be closed because of the cats. And then there's a window that looks out. And right now you can't see the beautiful mountains because of the haze from the smoke that's blowing into Revelstoke. And then I just have some decorations here. This is the card that I got from, I can't remember what her name is. Um, I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't remember her name. Shirley. Okay, so that card is from Shirley. And then I have some decorations there. And then I have that shelf that used to sit on this table at our house back in Manitoba. It's now up here because this craft room has wooden ledges, which allows me to have a lot more room to put stuff. So basically in this shelf is kind of similar to what I had in it at the house. And then there's my solar decorations. There's an M&M tin. You can't really see it, but I just have these things up there just to deter Minnie and Callie from getting up. So that's the reason for the stuffed animals there. It's just to get them from not going past that point because I don't want them walking on my laptop and whatnot. You'll see in a second what I mean. Here's the table that I had at home as well. And I've put it in the same spot because this is my main craft table. And so I pretty much kind of set it up the same way that I had it at the house. It's a little different. And then just down below. So in that bin, that's where I have some ongoing projects that I have swaps going on for. And in that one, it's just extra mini binders for my sticker collection. So nothing special down there. And then just on the floor here is my little dish rack thing where I put my cutting boards and whatnot. And then there's basically the same things that were put into these drawers as the house. So those are just my extra duplicates of stickers. And then I save the cases from the wooden buttons and just empty containers there. And then I have my extra embellishments. And then all of my beads are in there and more beads are in there. So that concludes that. And then I've switched up this shelf I have all of my Cricut vinyl in there instead of my paints and paint brushes. And then this is pretty much designated for materials and my Cricut rolls. And what I did was I actually taped this together because the pegs were breaking and I wasn't going to deal with that. And then I haven't changed anything in the drawers here, so it's pretty much what it says. So the first drawer is tools. So all the tools. 
And then these are the stamps and accessories here. So all of my stamps are in there. And then, oops. That is paints and accessories. So I have some paints in there, not all of them. Just the small ones. I'll show you where the other paints are in a bit. And this is adhesives. And this one is embellishments. Not sure if I have anything. No, I don't. I can fill that up later though. This is my electronic stuff. This is office supplies. Well, some of what I can find anyways. There's more stuff in here. I know I have more stuff somewhere else in a box. This is my extra washi tape. So my duplicates of washi tape. And then this is where I'm supposed to have my sticky notes. Okay, and then we're gonna go over to my desk here. So this is my desk, and this is where I have all of my extra day planner stuff and some foam sticker sticker letters, and then some more day planner stuff, extra embellishments here and there. And then in here, um, I have some more day planner stickers and accessories. And then this one is where I'm hiding the extra cat toys that don't need to be played with right now. So this was the shelf that was hanging on the wall back at home. But I decided to throw the brackets out because I just really don't want them anymore because I find that this is a better solution so that I can stack more stuff on top of it. And it's on a more sturdier surface because those brackets pretty much scared me. They almost looked like they were going to fall. But brackets are pretty tough, but I just don't want to drill any more holes into walls. So if I can help it, I won't do it. And this is my whole three hole puncher. This is my happy planner punch. This is the extra ink for the printer, some tape, my some movies, um, just an empty basket and just dragonfly lights. And then I kind of blocked that off as well. So because I really don't want the cats up on here. And then I have my diffuser there to keep them away as well. I just have to be careful when I do my diffuser because essential oils are not healthy for cats. So I don't use it very often. And then I just have my little lazy susan that i made i forgot to make the bottom so it doesn't have marbles but it's just basically pens and highlighters and then my laptop and my diffuser section has the marbles on it and then just the printer and yeah my day planner there's nothing in here really it's just a whole bunch of lined paper and then under here is just a day planner and just some little accessories here. And then just this, just my work schedule, who I'm working with. And then over here is a new table. So Huggy bought me this 